Hey, what's up, people? What is up? Hey, you are here, man. In a mildly empty gym, so hopefully I'll be able to make a, a proper video with you guys. Hey, what's up, Jason? Matthew. So, dear me, everybody's here. You guys don't even work? It's Monday, for Lord's sake. Always connected, eh? This is called FMO. FMO. Fear. Fear of missing out. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Hey, Dave is here. Dave is a proper, proper hillbilly. Bonjour, team. So, office. Singapore. Singapore is mightily saluted. You know why? Singapore, if you drop like a, a chewing gum on the floor, you pay like $5,000. Maybe you go to jail. What's up, Victor? Ça va super bien et toi? Natty Comics. This guy is a koala. He lives in Koala Land. He's a white minority in Melbourne, I think. So what do we talk about today, guys? Now I'm not lean enough. I'm starting to lean back. I was sick, so I had to eat a little bit more. So I'll do a little reset. I'll be back in business in about four weeks. Yeah. saying something in Arabic? Ask me a question in Arabic. I'll answer you in Arabic. No, the new Supra is just better. Come on, man. Don't be such a fanboy talking about a technology that stopped in 1997. That's 20 years ago, dude. How can you compare a car from 20 years ago to a car for now? Let's be realistic. If you say that, you either are, are kidding or you have no clue. Is the biggest jahash in the industry. You know me, Natty Connick. So you are Lebanese, baby, please. I thought you were you were a proper koala. Can you read Arabic? Yes, of course. Mother Afal, Afal Cardio. Kamatara. Our proper koala is a jahash. You know what jahash means? It's not a jahash is a hybrid between a, a donkey and a horse. It's a mule, a mule, right? The father is a donkey and uh, the mother is a, is a horse. Salam. What's up, Roland? Uh, your Palestinian friend told you that. Uh, hopefully I'll shade the beard in round April, during spring, April. It keeps me warm. It really keeps me warm. No al cardio? Stairmasters, no al cardio. Hal anta arabi? Shway, shway. Lisa arabian. Let me take a look at arabi. I mean, under ilayya. Hal abdu arabi? No. كما ترى لا أبدو عربيا فأصولي ليس ليس من الجزيرة العربية. Doing very good guys. No, I only do cardio post workout. For me it's four times a week, that's it. It was legs day. It was 
Lex Day today. Have you been to every part of in Canada? No, actually. <laughs> I didn't visit most of them. Do you see the Turkish had the massage? Never had it. <laughs> today the cardio will be about 20 25 minutes. Post workout, yeah. أنا مدهش جدا لأنك الحكم العربية في وضوح لماذا يا أخي أنا أنا ولدت بالجزائر وتربيت باللغة العربية سبحان الله كيف لك أن تتعجب أن جزائري يتكلم باللغة العربية سبحان الله وبحمده How to get rid of the love handles Hire me dude As simple as that Do you have a new lady? No I don't have time for chicks as per now. Dear me, I don't have I don't even have time to make videos on YouTube. Just saying the French are assholes. Which French? How is that you never sweat, Clambin? I do sweat but mildly. Well when when your cardiovascular is loyal, it takes a long time to to sweat. Macron Trudeau? Both are absolutely not saluted. Both are prime cucks. One is a president cuck, the other one is a prime minister cuck. MashaAllah, I don't know that. You are from the Jazeera Agency and I am proud of your knowledge. I am one of your followers from Baghdad. Salam Baghdad. Favorite bodybuilder? Myself. I am my favorite bodybuilder. I compete against myself. <laughs> I've been living in Canada for, hear me, almost a quarter of a century by now. The least favorite body part to train? That shouldn't be many. You need to train, train them all. I hate doing my calves because the congestion hurts, but I gotta do them. Hear me, the calves hurt because they love. They love long reps. Best cup powder, best car powder, dextrose or maltodextrin. Serbia saluted. Shukran. Ism al Haqiqi. Bada sirrun azim. Limada to read and harp ism al Haqiqi. Ism al Haqiqi huwa Louis. Walimala. What's up, Aviv? What should you do for consistent rest and forearm pain? Well, oh, that's an injury and you give a rest. Tunisian, ici, la pilule rouge. Yeah, red pill all day. Do you still work in law enforcement? No, I never worked in law enforcement. Rahul, high weight and low reps. Depends what muscle group I just mentioned. For instance, like the midsection and the, the calves, in my opinion, they prefer long reps. You can hit them more than once a week. Huh? How many ladies, baby, please, can I take at once? Only one. One is more than enough. One. Oh, I not even live with her, so. Yeah, Shane. I don't make videos because I don't have time. I don't have time, and I used to make them about bodybuilder, bodybuilding. I don't like bodybuilding, obviously. I don't even post about it. Yeah, the liberal common law. What can you do, man? I don't want you to reject marriage. It's up to you, dude. It's your prerogative. You want to get married and have kids? Go, good luck. What can I tell you? It's your choice, man. Keep me posted. You want to go to the Dragon Den? By all means, go. It's your call, man. You, you got to control your gaze. The more you do it, the easier it becomes when you control your gaze. But if you succumb, it's a relapse. Be careful. Like when you are really protecting yourself, you don't do it, you feel so strong, 
pot. It's like a dude who, who stopped drinking. It suffice of one, one drink and you can relapse big time. No, if you want to lose fat, you need to sacrifice a little bit of size and strength, which you will regain afterwards. MGTOW, well, I consider myself red pilled. Dear me, if I go back to, I mean, it's a build up. I mean, I started to be awakened to this reality a long, 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 long time ago. I'd say I had a glimpse of it when I was like 19, 19, 20. It's just human nature when you, when you discover human nature, you cannot un, you cannot unlearn it. It is what it is. And with age and experiences, it solidifies. It gets stronger. That's it. Where is your biggest fan base after Canada? My, my biggest fan base is in the U.S before Canada. Yeah, same goes for my, my trainees, my clients, and most of them are Americans. My last cheat meal was uh, in Dubai, 2017. A little bit more than a year ago. Now it's getting hard, now I'm sweating. But those are the, what I call the money minutes. The next five to 10 minutes are very, very important. It is so sensitive, man. You add like five minutes of cardio, after a few days, I swear to God, you literally see it and feel it on your abs. You literally see it. You just take a shower and the dude, my abs are looking better. Just a few days of doing an extra cardio. It is that sensitive. Simple mathematics. I gotta do it now, it's hard. Do you think I'm, I'm happy now? It sucks. But I gotta represent, man. I bust the balls of my trainees on a daily basis. I don't accept cheating. I don't salute them when they cheat. I gotta represent. I gotta roll with these guys. It's hard for them. It's harder for them, because they're cutting now. Me, my abs are still showing, so did me in three weeks I'll be freaking diced. It's quite easy, been there, done it. It cannot be easy, it just cannot be easy. That's the difference. You see that layer of, of skin on your back to see the details, the Christmas tree. It's very, very easy. I got a guy, what's his name? Felix, if you're watching, Felix. I posted his results. This guy was done about a month prior to Christmas. He was done, proper, looking good, diced. Best physique of his life. 19 year old. Sent me a picture like five days ago. He got fluffy again. Why? He started cheating. He cheated all the way in the holidays and everything. He gained like, I don't know, like 12 pounds of blubber. Yeah, not salute. Now he comes back to me. To him, bro, what the hell have you done? What's up, Russia? Stairmasters all the way. Even if I buy my gym, God willing, if I have my gym, my own gym, I only have a Stairmasters at home. Let me tell you what is my heartbeat right now a bit. It should not be that high. I'm assuming about 155 or something. Let me see. Yeah, 154, dearie me, 155. I knew it. <laughs> What's that? Do I recommend long-term cut? Cut? Depends. Depends on your the extent of your bonanza. Some people need only four weeks. Some people not need 16, 16 weeks, if not even more. Kebab could be there all day. 
Well, Logan, you're you're uh, you're, you're muscular, Logan. I don't know if you're you're natty too. The cardiovascular of a natty dude and uh, enhanced dude is not not the same. If you're enhanced, you got a proper real estate of mus muscle. And that's a lot of oxygen, man. What's up, Croatia? What's up, Bayman? Bayman, hard to assume your gender. You look like a girl, but your name is man. Bayman. That's confusing. Oh boy, this is the money, money minutes. About three minutes ago. Money minutes right here. Oh boy. Opinion on no fat. What can I tell me? I'm no fat by, by default. I am religious. I don't do this, this kind of stuff. So it doesn't concern. For me, it's not hard to, to be no fat. No fat, it's I do it because I'm, I'm afraid of God. Inshallah. Taqwa, ya akhi. Thank you, Eric. Oh boy. I take maca every day. It's part of my uh, superfood uh, stack. I take a lot of superfoods. On top of my head, I take uh, spirulina. I take uh, clo chlor chlorella. I take moringa. Obviously, I said maca. I take also matcha tea and some others. Spot in Ocho. Wasafu, Wasafu, you should be mobbing your barrio. What you doing here, bro? You should be mobbing your barrio now. You're gonna be invaded by the, the freaking opposite foos. Yeah, Napa, Napa leather. It's looted. It's better than Dakota leather. Napa is the best. One minute left. One. One. Of course, M3 is better than the 335i. Come on, man. One minute left. Mansoor. Thought on having a GF? Yeah, you can have a girlfriend. Absolutely. But as long as you don't marry her and you do not live with her and do not make her pregnant, it should be fine. <laughs> Why not? What's up, South Africa? Yeah, best buck for a 304 DM3. Cannot compare an M car with a regular BMW. Karen, I don't train women now, no. I train only dudes. Sorry. I used to train women. Maybe I will in the future, but not for now. What's up, India? Almost done, proper. <clears throat> I hate cardio. I hate it. But I have no choice for me to have abs and be shredded. I gotta do this. It's also good for my cardiovascular system. Thing is, with time, as you can see, but I'm doing cardio like 20 minutes. I hardly ever sweat. Yeah, you can do boxing. You can do any kind of uh, MMA sport, whatever. Why not? Woo. Let me see my heartbeat before I stop. One fifty-eight, one fifty-nine. That was proper, wasn't it? Really was. What's up, Romania? Be careful of your chicks. Romanian chicks are very notorious in sorcery and witchcraft and 
things like that. Be careful. Yeah, when, when cutting, I prefer stopping creatine. Me and my Chinese, we don't take creatine when we cut. Thank you guys, God bless you. Time to go back home. Be saluted, stay positive, I salute you. Peace, good vibes to you and uh, have a nice day. Be saluted, stay positive. Occupy your time, fill your day with positive vibes. And when you have a stall, be careful. Because idle time, idle time is really the devil's playground. When you have nothing to do, you will jump into some vices. Vices come towards you first. So try to fill your time, always, always. There is no vacation. You know why? Because that, I was about to say, son of a bitch. Well, it's not son of a bitch, Satan. Satan. He comes in to fill that void, that mother lover, right? So be careful. Don't trust him. Don't trust him. <laughs> Yesterday, because me, I'm, you know, I watch a lot of videos on YouTube. They made a video about that chick who was talking about toxic masculinity, and she was talking about it. She's a, she's a ginger chick. You can you can go on YouTube and type in ginger witch, ginger witch. You can you can find her. She, her name is Ginger Witch. So her last video was talking about feminism and toxic masculinity. But then when you go to her playlist, her old videos, which she made like a week ago, guess what? She was talking about demons coming to her house. Her house is haunted. And she has like a Ouija board when she calls those demons. And she talks about sorcery and, and things like that. Dear me, it's like almost predictable. It's connected nowadays. It's kind of witchcraft. And, and she thinks she's doing something good. She thinks... It has to do with spirit, uh, spirituality. What do you mean you're doing a freaking demon? But again, these people don't know. They all have the same patterns. They have all kinds of tattoos. And be careful. Do not confuse artistic tattoos with, with the other type of tattoos. There are two types of, ta of tattoos in my opinion. Some people who do them just because they, they want to remember some, something or somebody. But some other people do them. It's like inflicting pain. It's like to express pain. You know what I mean? Try to, to perform an exorcism of some, some bad vibes inside. It's like almost, in my opinion, self-mutilation. I swear to God, you will notice that pattern. And these people, they all have tattoos and then piercing. And then they talk about witchcraft and spirituality. Dear me, you're doing it with freaking demons and you don't know. That's, that's the trickery. It's like when I, it's like where, where I, uh, I live in a so-called old Catholic province, although like right now, all the churches are freaking empty. Nobody goes to the churches, but they, they, uh, some people still believe in God in, uh, in their ways. So when their grandpa or grandma dies, they start praying to, her, uh, to their grandma. So grandma, help me today. Dear me, is, is your grandma God? They have a weird belief. They think that their grandma becomes an angel, that like their guardian angel, and they talk to her. You're talking to a freaking demon if you don't know. <laughs> as simple as that. Did they, they, they like humans become like freaking super superheroes when they, when they freaking die? It's like, bro, when, when you die, your soul becomes like whatever. Really, that's some weird stuff. So that chick, you go to her profile, she tells you about all kind of paranormal stuff happening in, in her house, and now she wants to become a feminist. You know why? Because in my opinion, in my opinion, these people are possessed by an old demon of old which was portraying herself as being um, a goddess. A goddess. And that goddess was known to, to eat men. She was everywhere. She was in the Indian mythology. She was in the Greek mythology. She was uh, Venus in the Romans. She was uh, whatever her name, I think. Uh, was her name Isis or? Yeah, I think her name was Isis in freaking Egyptian mythology. And she had another name in the Norse mythology with the Vikings. And she hates men and she eats them, right? And she was Jezebel, we call it the spirit of freaking Jezebel. So those are the things and they brain... And if you notice, most of them, they dye their, uh, their hair in red. They, they, wa they want to do their hair in red and in pink. If you go through that depiction of that goddess, she had pink hair too. And you see her eating... Uh, eating men actually right. and when you see the 
nowadays, uh, what's her name? Miley Cyrus and uh, the other one, Beyonce. They, they have that tongue, they, they bring that tongue out, just like that goddess, so-called goddess. Artemis, exactly. It's crazy stuff. I mean, I, I would wish that this real, I mean, I, I believe in God, but I would have wished that those paranormal stuff was not true. But when you see it, and you see the evil working in real life, you say, dearie me, what the hell is going on? So that's it, and then it's, it's everywhere, it's, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. M music became literally devilish. Be careful with the music, right? That, that's all I say. Because let's say most of you believe in these paranormal stuff, the other guys, like the demon world. These guys are made out of vibes. They're made out of fire vibes. It is, it, it is, my, it is my belief. It's kind of funny because you guys believe in Christmas and I don't believe in this. Come on, man. They're made out of vibes and they get the, their, their energy from bad vibes. So if you do some bad things or you do some, you hurt people or you hurt animals, you're nourishing these guys. It's like the god of the Greeks of old. What's his name? Uh, he played in that movie, uh, The Titans. I think his name is uh, Odeus. I forgot his name. He was the the god of uh, of the hellfire, right? The god of the hellfire. He said, "I get my I get my power when people are afraid of me. Are afraid of me, so they worship me. That, that's that's how I get my uh, my my power." He was the brother of uh, of Zeus. I forgot his name. The brother of Zeus. He was casted in the underworld. He was the god of the underworld. I forget his name. Probably you guys know him. That's that. Uh, uh, Hades? Hades, I think. His name is Hades. Hades. Which is supposedly the god of whatever. Right? People were worshipping him. Be, be, Hades, exactly. Be afraid of me. Exactly. What are you afraid of him? That's it. And if you notice, the so-called haunted house, the so-called haunted house, it's always where somebody died, where there was like a crime. When you kill somebody, it releases a big energy and these bad vibes feed from it, right? So imagine what's happening nowadays where people are killing their babies in the womb and say, okay, this is freedom, the freedom, kill the babies, you know what I mean? You see these babies, they're like, when, when they remove them, they, they have their limbs, they have everything. Imagine that, 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 that power being released, who is feeding from that power? Do you think there is a difference between what's happening right now and what used to happen back in the day in the Incas and the Aztecs? The Aztecs, sometimes, they were killing whole tribes. They were sacrificing 80,000 people in three days. They were throwing them in, 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 in the fire to appease their god. Was it, the, was it the god of Jesus? Do you think that that god was the god of Jesus? Do you think that god just was saying, okay, sacrifice 80,000 people? No. And the Romans were sacrificing whatever. Everybody was sacrificing things. Let's sacrifice virgins. See what I mean? Be careful, guys. Be, be wise. If you're alive, I don't care what's your creed, what's your system of belief, what's your religion. Good and bad is universal. So feed yourself from good things and do not worship false gods. All right? Be careful. Exactly, the movie Apocalypto. They were, they were sacrificing everybody. They were sacrificing everybody. And that's that. Yep. God bless you, be saluted. Stay tuned, have a nice one. I need to take a leak. I need to take a proper leak, bro.